welcome back everyone so today i will be sharing the best windows 11 settings that you must understand and change in 2024 now microsoft takes the security of their operating system very seriously and windows 11 brought many security improvement but the question is does windows 11 have better security the short answer from my side is yes because windows 11 has better security than its older operating system and to understand the difference, you must know what security feature exactly Windows 11 offer. So the very first security that Windows 11 offer is the TPM, which is a very basic word that most of the people have heard about it. So the TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module, and it's a feature that verifies the integrity of your firmware, preventing unauthorized users from accessing your encryption keys or installing root kits that will run before your operating system boot and the next one is the vbs that is the virtualization based security and this feature create a secure and isolated section in your memory by doing so windows can use the virtual secure mode to run various security solution thus providing better protection for your operating system and then next you have the ufi secure boot feature that isn't a new feature and it's closely associated with TPM and using the secure boot ensure that your firmware isn't tempered thus preventing malware from running as soon as you boot your PC. So now how to improve the security in Windows 11. However, as I said, all these securities are being offered and is a feature of Windows 11 but you need to ensure that you are using all of them. So the very first thing that you have to ensure that your Windows is up to date. Now updating windows is very simple you have to click on your windows search type update then you have to click on check for update and here you can click check for update again and if there is any kind of update available kindly go ahead download and install them because it contain many kind of security update many kind of bug update that will be helping you to get rid of all kind of suspicious activities any kind of incoming attack Okay, so always keep in your mind that you keep your windows up to date that will be helping you to have a better security. And now the next thing that you have to keep in your mind that you have to protect your account with a password. As I have seen many people, they don't have any kind of password for their computer. So if you have not set any kind of password so far, then you can easily do that. In windows settings only, you have to click on accounts. And if you are logged in with any kind of Microsoft account, then you will be getting a Microsoft account section. You can click on it and enable the password through that options. But I would also recommend that you should have a local account. And if you are logged in with a local account, then you can click on sign in options. And here you get many different options like facial recognition, fingerprint recognition, pin, security key, password and the picture password. Now for the best and the enhanced security, it's always recommended that you should go with the Windows Hello that can be your facial recognition and the fingerprint recognition. If not, then you can also go with the pin or with the password and it's very easy to set up. You can click on the password section. Then you can click on add and here you can create your desired password. Same you can do with the pin. You can click on the pin and then you can click on setup to enter your pin that you want to enter into your account. Okay, so if you have not done any one of them so far, then kindly go with any one of them. As I said, Windows Hello is more recommended. So either you can go with the facial recognition, fingerprint or with the pen. Now next, what you have to do from the Windows settings only, you have to click on privacy and security. And here you have to click on Windows security. Now here, make sure that all these protections are running in the background like virus and threat protection, account protection, app and browser control, firewall and the device security. So you can click on open Windows security. And here you will find all the categories. So first you can click on virus and threat protection. Click on manage settings and make sure all these protections are being enabled. Then from the left in menu option, you have to click on account protection. And you can see here it says to turn on the Windows Hello to sign into Microsoft. So you can follow these instructions as well. You can also have a dynamic log, which is also recommended for the better security. Then you can come to firewall and network protection and make sure the firewall has been enabled. Come to app and browser control. And here you get a smart app control, reputation based protection. And if you click on their settings, you will find check app and file, a smart screen for Microsoft Edge, phishing protection. 
and you get many other options like potentially unwanted app blocking so you can enable all these options so that you should have the full protection on your windows 11. A part of that you also get the device security that contains the core isolation and it says virtualization based security protect the core part of your device. So again you can click on core isolation detail and enable the memory integrity which says prevent attack from integrity malicious code into high security processes. So if you need the best security offered from the Microsoft in Windows 11 then make sure that this option has also been enabled. Once you are done, you need to go back to Windows settings. And again here from the left in menu option, you have to click on privacy and security. And here you get many options like Windows permissions. So what you can do, you can click on the general option and disable all these options. Now this will be improving the performance of your computer as well. So it's always recommended that you should disable all these options. And now next you have to click on your Windows search, type user account and from the suggestion you have to click on change user account control settings it says choose when to be notified about changes to your computer okay now here what you have to do you need to keep this selected to at least notify me only when app try to make changes to my computer so what will happen if there would be any kind of installation any kind of changes to be done on the computer it will ask you several permission okay so that will helping you to block all kind of unwanted connections and people who are trying to install any kind of application okay so make sure this is being selected to at least this option or the top one not below that once you are done you have to click on ok click on yes now the next step to improve the security on your windows 11 is to enable the bit locker to encrypt your drive so what you can do you can click on your windows search type bit locker then you have to click on manage bit locker it says see bit locker off so what you can do you can click on turn on bit locker it might ask you to restart so you can click on restart and after that you have to set up the bit locker you can either set up from here or you can also bring up your file explorer go to this pc right click on the c drive and click turn on bit locker from here okay so you have to follow the instructions and just enable the encryption so that nobody can access your c drive and now finally but not the least that I would recommend you that make sure that the TPM and the secured boot has been enabled from your BIOS. Now many people they disable it I don't know for many other reasons I understand but if you are really concerned about the security on Windows 11 then it's highly recommended that you should enable the TPM and the secured boot from your BIOS. And that's all guys for today and hopefully you found this video helpful. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section if you have any kind of issues, any kind of problem. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.